Do you struggle to get a good night's sleep? Sleep is about both quantity, the duration, but equally the quality. The balance between deep sleep, REM sleep and light sleep. Do you know what these ratios should be? Discover later and be empowered. Sleep, often overlooked, is an essential component of our overall health and wellness. It's not just about feeling well rested. It's about ensuring our bodies and minds function at their peak. Imagine sleep as the ultimate recharge station for your body. A sanctuary where healing and restoration take place. When we sleep, our bodies are hard at work repairing cells, consolidating memories and rejuvenating our immune system. It's a complex process, but it's also fascinatingly beautiful. It's a wire to self-heal and rejuvenate. Juvenate. Now, consider the opposite scenario. What happens when we deprive ourselves of this vital process? Lack of sleep isn't just about feeling groggy or under the weather. It's a state that can lead to an array of health issues. Stress levels skyrocket, anxiety looms and physical ailments begin to manifest. Our bodies are incredibly resilient, but continuous deprivation of sleep taxes our systems, leading to a cascade of negative effects. Let's delve a bit deeper into the science of sleep. Our sleep cycle is governed by our internal body clock, also known as the circadian rhythm. This rhythm is influenced by light and darkness, signaling our bodies when it's time to sleep and when it's time to wake up. During sleep, we cycle through different stages, each playing a crucial role in our health. Deep sleep, for instance, is when bodily repair and growth occur, while REM sleep, characterized by rapid eye movement, is when most of our dreaming happens. These stages are not mere transitions of sleep, but are integral to our cognitive function, emotional well-being and physical health. They're the reason why a good night's sleep leaves us feeling refreshed, alert and ready to face the challenges of a new day. So what happens when we don't get enough sleep? The consequences can be more severe than you might think, but don't let that worry you. There are several strategies we can employ to ensure we're getting the rest we need. Let's explore. When we fail to get adequate sleep, our bodies and minds pay the price. Our bodies are like intricate machines requiring regular maintenance and rest to function at their best. When we shortchange ourselves on sleep, it's like running a machine on low fuel. The result? A cascade of negative consequences that affect both our physical and mental health. Firstly, let's consider the impact on our physical health. A lack of sleep can significantly weaken our immune system making us more susceptible to infections and diseases. It's during those precious hours of sleep when our body produces proteins called cytokines, which target infection and inflammation. With less sleep, there are fewer cytokines to defend us. Then there's the issue of weight gain. Insufficient sleep disrupts the balance of hormones that regulate our appetite. You may have noticed that when you're tired, you're more likely to reach for high calorie, high carb foods. It's your body's way of seeking quick energy, but it can lead to unhealthy weight gain over time. Now, let's shift our focus to the mental toll of poor sleep. Our cognition suffers dramatically with inadequate rest. Memory, concentration, problem-solving skills, all are compromised. You may find yourself forgetting things, struggling to focus, or making errors in judgment. The world seems fuzzier, less sharp, less manageable. Moreover, sleep deprivation can lead to mood swings and even depression. It's no coincidence that we feel irritable or down after a restless night. Sleep has a profound effect on our mood and emotional health. Without enough of it, we may find ourselves on an emotional roller coaster with our mood fluctuating wildly. Finally, let's not forget about the increased risk of accidents. Fatigue slows reaction time and impairs judgment, making us more prone to accidents. 
whether it's tripping over a rug at home or getting into a car accident. Clearly, sleep is not something we can afford to neglect. So how can we improve our sleep quality? Improving sleep quality is not just about the number of hours we spend in bed. It's about nurturing a holistic approach that encompasses our lifestyle, environment and mental well-being. Let's delve into some holistic strategies for better sleep. Firstly, maintaining a consistent sleep schedule is key. Our bodies thrive on routine and our internal body clock, or circadian rhythm, benefits from a regular sleep-wake cycle. Try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. This consistency helps regulate your body's clock and can help you fall asleep and stay asleep for the night. Next, let's talk about creating a restful environment. Your bedroom should be a sanctuary, a space that promotes tranquility and relaxation. Consider the temperature. Experts suggest a cool room. Around 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit is optimal for sleep. Pay attention to the lighting as well. Darkness signals to your body that it's time to rest. Consider using blackout curtains, eye shades or a sleep mask to block out unwanted light. Noise can be a significant disruptor, so consider using earplugs, a white noise machine or a fan to create a soothing soundscape. Physical activity is another pillar of good sleep hygiene. Regular exercise not only benefits our physical health, but also improves sleep quality and duration. It doesn't have to be an intense workout. Moderate activities like walking or cycling can be just as effective. Just be mindful not to exercise close to bedtime as it might interfere with your ability to fall asleep. Lastly, let's explore mindful practices. The incorporation of mindfulness and relaxation techniques, such as meditation and yoga, can greatly enhance sleep quality. These practices help quiet the mind, reduce stress, and promote a state of relaxation, setting the stage for a good night's sleep. Try a simple breathing exercise before bed. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Hold it for a few seconds, then exhale slowly. Repeat this several times, focusing on your breath and letting go of the day's stresses. Yoga, especially restorative or gentle forms, can also be beneficial. Poses like legs up the wall or corpse pose can help prepare your body for sleep. Remember, it's not about implementing all these strategies at once. It's about finding what works best for you and making small, sustainable changes to your routine. It could be as simple as going to bed 15 minutes earlier or incorporating a 10-minute meditation into your evening routine. These holistic strategies can help us unlock the power of sleep. But how can we make these strategies a part of our daily routine? Incorporating these strategies into our daily routine is the key to better sleep. Let's dive into how we can practically integrate these tactics into our lives. The first step is setting a regular bedtime. Now this may seem like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how many of us neglect this simple routine. It's essential to choose a time when you naturally feel tired, so you're not tossing and turning. Consistency is key, even on weekends, to regulate your body's internal clock. Next, let's talk about creating a pre-sleep routine. This routine signals to your body that it's time to wind down. It could involve reading a book, taking a warm bath or sipping a cup of herbal tea. Try to avoid screens for at least an hour before bed, as the blue light emitted by phones, tablets, computers and TVs is especially disruptive. Now, on to physical exercises. Incorporating a daily workout routine in the morning can do wonders for your sleep. Regular physical activity can help you fall asleep faster and enjoy deeper sleep. However, timing is important. If you exercise close to bedtime, it might interfere with your sleep, so try to finish moderate to vigorous workouts at least three hours before bed. 
practicing mindfulness exercises. Before bed can be a game changer. Mindfulness exercises such as yoga, meditation and deep breathing can help you unwind and prepare your body for sleep. These practices help to relax the mind, reduce stress and create a peaceful environment conducive to quality sleep. But remember, everyone is different. What works for one person might not work for another. It's all about finding what works best for you and sticking to it. The most important thing is to make sleep a priority. You must be intentional about making these changes and stick to them, even when life gets busy. By making these small changes, we can significantly improve our sleep quality, leading to better health and wellness. As promised, let's quantify both the quantity of sleep to aim for every night, ideally seven to eight. Most important is the quality of your sleep to aim for every night, ideally at least 25% deep sleep, 25% REM sleep, with the balance being light sleep. You can monitor the quality nightly using a smartwatch or a sleep monitoring phone application. Sleep, often overlooked, plays a crucial role in our overall wellness. As we've journeyed together through this discourse, we've unearthed the profound impact of a restful night's sleep on our bodies and minds. We've delved into the dire consequences of poor sleep, from physical ailments to mental health issues. We've also traversed the terrain of holistic strategies for better sleep, covering the spectrum from mindfulness practices to dietary adjustments. These strategies aren't mere suggestions. They're keys that unlock the door to restful nights and brighter days. They're an invitation to honor our bodies and minds by giving them the rest they need and deserve. Implementing these strategies is not an overnight task, but a journey of self-care and wellness. Remember, each step you take towards better sleep is a step towards a healthier and more harmonious life. Take the first step towards better sleep tonight. Don't forget to subscribe for more content on holistic wellness.